Hi, I'm James and I'm a developer advocate at Sembird. Today, we're going to be looking at adding Sembird React UI Kit to your Vue.js application. Vue is an approachable, performant, and versatile framework for building web user interfaces. The framework aims to be as intuitive as possible by building on top of standard HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. For the last five years, Vue has ranked in the top three web frameworks alongside Angular and React. Sendbird UI Kit is a component library for creating rich, cross-platform chat experiences. UI Kit can be composed together to quickly add many types of chat functionality to your product, whether that's users chatting with each other or as a direct messaging channel between businesses and customers. Sendbird UI Kit is a React component library. However, this does not prevent us making use of it in a Vue project. So let's see how that can be done. So here we are inside of a Vue app. For this tutorial, it's just a very simple app created by running npm init Vue. We're going to use a library called Vuri to display the Sembird UI kit. Vuri is a library that enables rendering of React components inside of Vue apps. First, let's install Vuri from npm. We also need a couple of Vite plugins. First, install Vite.js's plugin React, plugin Vue, and plugin Vue.jsx. We then need to update the Vite config file. Inside of the config file, import the Vite plugin from Vuri. Then inside of the Vite config object, we update the plugins array to include the Vuri plugin. We set the plugin type to view, meaning that any React components that sit in the directory called react underscore app can be imported into a .view file and then rendered inside of a standard view component. Now let's create a React.js component using Sembird UI kit for the chat functionality. To get started, let's create a new React component in the react underscore app directory. Create this directory if it does not yet exist. This component is responsible for importing, configuring, and rendering UI kit. This component does not have to be written in any special way to work with Vue, just plain old React will do. First, let's import Sembird UI kit's dependencies and include the CSS so everything looks nice. Then, initialize UI kit with an app ID and a user ID. This information can be found at your Sembird dashboard. Lastly, we're going to access the Sembird JavaScript SDK to get user information, and pass that back up to our view app. Sembird UI kit provides a handy get SDK method for exactly this scenario. We make the get SDK method available by wrapping this new component with higher order with Sembird component. We'll come back to retrieving useful information from the SDK later in the tutorial. Now we have a React component, let's render it in our view application. My current app has one view called home, so let's make the changes there. First, import Vuery and our new React chat component. We'll convert the React component to a view component using the apply pure React in view function from Vuery. In the view component setup function, set the data and callbacks to be passed as props to our chat react component. We're going to pass down a config object for UI kit and two functions to the react component. These are set unread message count and set SB user info. These functions will be called in the react component with the data to be passed back up to this view component. Next, define our HTML to render a top header. The header will include the username and unread message count, and then render our chat component in the HTML, passing in the data and the callbacks as attributes on the chat element. Finally, add some styling to make it look nice. Let's loop back to our React chat component and make use of the properties we just passed down from the template. We want to do a couple of things. First, get the user and message count info to render in the top header. The SDK 
has the current user available via the current user field. And the unread message count can be read using the SDK's method of get total unread message count. Then we can call the functions set unread message count and set SB user info that were just passed down as props. When rendering the chat component, we can access the config object passed down, which contains the app ID and the user ID, so this component will render now as expected. We're now passing data from our React component back up to the view component to display however it would like. The final app looks like this. If you want to learn more about Sembird UI Kit, feel free to visit the documentation. And thanks for watching.